Hello, this is a demo of the new HTML5 UI for the tenant portal for vCloud Director 9.0. Now what we can see here is a listing, a card view of all of the VMs that are available to the tenant. We can see them both as standalone VMs or as part of VMs. Now as you can see, we're creating a new virtual machine without it being as a part of a VM. We've tried to streamline the process, and for users who would rather create a standalone VM without it being part of a vApp, they can feel free to do so without that overhead. We've also introduced the idea of t-shirt sizing, where we provide a starting point for CPU, memory, and storage characteristics that users can create VMs from. For users who, are, who do enjoy leveraging vApps, they are free to go ahead and create vApps with VMs in them as well. We have not removed that functionality. In the old VM creation method, you needed to wade through a seven-step wizard with 25 different options. We've now streamlined that process down to a single step and only five options for creating a virtual machine. Much quicker, much simpler, and streamlined for the user. Now if we take a look at the networking and NSX capabilities that are available to the tenant, we have an entire screen dedicated just to networking configuration and functionality. Previously, all networking configuration was spread out throughout the entire tenant uh, UI, throughout the entire tenant portal. We've now consolidated all of those configuration parameters down to a single element of the uh, HTML5 UI. As you can see, you can add and delete NAT, NAT rules. We can create a routing configuration. Here we can see we can enable OSPF, which was something that tenants were not able to previously do. And we're looking at the security configuration. For example, on a distributed firewall, we can create rules, place them in any order, move them in the order of the, of the firewall policy. When we go back to the home view, the base view, we can see again our card view for our VMs. All of the standard VM sort of uh, functions and features are available directly from this card view. We can also look at a detail screen, which provides all of the advanced configuration details that a user may want to be able to change on a VM. 